No, I don't. I see. Truth be told, there's only one way you can change the Amiga back to the original state. Destroy the island's core. But the island may collapse if you do destroy the core. Is it too dangerous a choice for you to make? Either way, I don't know where to find the core. If you really want to try and do it, then I'll wait for you. But I may need to flee this island any time if it gets too dangerous for me. The Outer Wall. We're finally outside, guys. <sighs> if you're looking for the core, then you really need to hurry it up. This is beautiful. In a really somber way. As you can tell, this is actually the background here is the same background I used for the outros. I never knew where it came from. I had just seen the art somewhere. Back when I first tried starting up this game, I'd seen it. So, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Those look like sperm shooting at me. I'm not gonna lie. I think I just had sperm shot at me. And that's kind of disturbing. In many ways, actually. Seriously, though. This game got really dark. Oh! That's what I was being hit by. I didn't even notice that. I was looking, and I'm like, did I get hit? Eh, whatever. And that right there is how you defeat a alligator. A crocodile. Thing. Sorry for not talking a lot here. I just... I'm sitting back and enjoying this music in these moments. Given the chance to escape, I didn't. For who knows how the world would have fared otherwise. I mean, is it worth living myself if everyone else dies? I mean, to be fair, everyone makes that choice themselves, right? For me, I'm not sure I could live with myself if I were to just abandon everyone. Then again, I can't really condone those who wouldn't want to sacrifice themselves for it. Knowing what you're up against, is that really right to ask somebody? Tell them that they have to risk their own life for everyone else? Is that fair? Then again, is any of this fair? Ugh! Yes, I do want to save. I swear if this is Sue, I'm gonna slap someone. Eek! Don't kill me! I'm a human! I was trying to have Amiga by magic! Eh? You mean, you're not a killer robot? You startled me pretty badly by coming in so suddenly. Are you here to save us? So this must be... Is that Sue's mom? 
I'm Ito. I'm one of the humans who came to study the island. Misery gave me this lovely new Mamiga appearance. I could probably run away, but take a look at me and how I am now. I'm stuck. You must have climbed all the way up here from the wall from outside. I'm quite a capable engineer, but I have an innate fear of heights. Huh. I shouldn't have come to such a place like this floating island. The plantation. I wonder how many of you recognize this track that's playing right now. Passage? Nope, not able to go up there. What? The holder. Enipono. Miyakado. And that's the doctor. Those are all the demon crown holders. People have used it for whatever purpose it was meant for or not. I'm not really sure. Well. I guess it's back to traveling. Okay. Oh hey, it's another one of these guys. The doctor from the surf is using the Mamiga of this island to grow red flowers for him. Similar kinds of events have occurred in the past, too. Oh, I thought I could sleep here. Okay, well. Can't do anything with that. Careful with the spitting gunfish, known... No, they can be used as steps. Cool. Found a hidden... I found a hidden passage! That led me back to the beginning. I guess that's for if you fall over there. You don't have to travel all the way back in the slow water. Ow. I'm glad it mentioned that. It reads, do not enter. Also, it's locked. Ooh, hey. I just... Really? I was trying to see if I could, you know, grab that item that was there. Well, it seems like I'm supposed to head this way. Yep. Wasn't sure if it was an enemy or not. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Ah, you can't get me like that. You stand no chance. I know I should be going through those doors and all. I want to come up here first. I know I'm doing everything out of order. This sprinkler is... Oops, I can't be talking to humans. Red flowers. Alright, I'm going to drop down here. See if I can't use this door down here. A rest area. Yo, haven't we met somewhere before? It must have been at Mamiga Village. That which misery brought us me brought me here. I really just like farming. Gotta go clear my head with some fishing for a little bit. You like to fish? If there's any chance, maybe it'll I'll bump into you again. Oh, he'll get me the item, which is probably the key that I need. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Seems the only one who wants to chat is the uh, 
fisherman. Okay. Well, I have no idea what that's supposed to be for. Oh well. No. I think before anything else, I'm gonna head down there and talk to the fisherman. As I did just progress that, I wanted to come down here first to begin with. Fisherman. Oh, it's you. I caught something strange. You can take it if you want. It's inside the bucket. Peek inside the bucket. Inspecting carefully, you see an item of some kind shiny within. The teleporter room key. Ow. There we go. Got the teleporter room key. Hey, you're a good guy. Whoopsies. I'm gonna use this to heal. I found you, kill a robot. What? Hey! Hey, you! Are you dead or something? Please be curly brace. Nope. Mm, nope. Oh, you're awake! I thought you were already dead. Sue would smack you and you wouldn't move an inch. This place is a jail. Those who oppose the doctor are locked up here. To be used as test subjects for his ongoing experiments. Sue said so. You're a friend of hers? You're a little bit too late. She was here as well. She worried about you so much, it was only a few minutes ago that she was carried off. Really? Of course that kind of thing would happen to me. How do I get out of here? There has to be some kind of secret to get out of here, right? And by the way, she snuck something in your pocket while she was taken away. Hey, it's me, Sue. I don't remember telling you anything about us. We came to this island as a research group. It was me, my mom, Kazuma, Professor Booster, and a few assistants. The doctor was with us, too. He was supposed to take care of our medical needs and did, I guess, but that all changed when he found the demon crown. That crown used to belong to the master of this island and grants immense magical powers to the person who dons it. The doctor knew about it well before coming to the island, it's the reason he forced himself onto our group. After you grabbed hold of the crown, that was pretty much it. We couldn't do anything about it. The only, th the only thing we could do was continue the research of the island under his command. He seeks to rule the surface using the island as a flying fortress. From what I can tell, he plans on attacking the surface with the enraged Amiga army. I was able to escape, however. The other researchers are probably... Of course, he's using the innocent Mamiga to grow a large quantity of red flowers. And once he's ready to attack, he's going to send the Mamiga into a state of insane rage by feeding them red flowers. With his powers from the crown, he'll control them and me too. If you can get out of the jail, please look for a hidden safe house somewhere within the plantation. If my mom is still alive, then she'll be working there. She'll be there working on a plan of her own to beat the doctor. Please help her as soon as as much as you can. Before I forget, the password to get into the safe house is cave story backwards. God. That's it. Okay. Just, okay. How, why, what, who, when, uh... I fell. Alright. 
Well, that's the jail cell again. He went boom. A lot. I probably actually didn't need to do that, but whatever. I think I replenished that, actually. Almost there. So I have to do is head down this way. More red flowers growing. Well, I've already been picked, I should say. Mosquitoes! Ah! The power of King! Got another life capsule. All right. Looks like it doesn't matter because experience doesn't matter. But. There we go. Okay. Apparently that's actually not a broken bridge or a broken bridge that you can pass through or anything. Didn't we have this conversation already? I thought we did, or maybe I just, when I died, I didn't talk to that person again. Okay, whatever you say, Ito. I almost said Ito. Oh, Ito. Drop down here. What's the password? Sorry for the minor uh, interruption right there. I got a message on Steam, so. What's the message? Uh, what's the password? Cave story backwards. Hey there, Sue's mom. <laughs> so you're the hero Sue's been talking about. I'm glad. I'm Maureen Sakamoto, Sue's mother. I took my chance working at the doctor's side, but after the flower seeds were located, as I was, I was no, I was of no use to the doctor. I was thrown off the island unceremoniously. Not very nice. Men who treat women without respect are barbarians. Anyway, that aside, I'm presently building a rocket for you. It would take you all the way up to the doctor's throne, but evidently I don't have enough of the parts. Oh, I need to borrow that booster from you. There's still not enough of the necessary parts to complete the rocket. Are you busy now? No, I'm not. That's a good answer. To be expected from a hero. From the from the now, wear this. The Mamiga mask. It suits you, even if it's a tad too large. The Mamiga work in the plantation are forbidding from speaking with any humans, but with that outfit on, you should be all set to chat with them. Got it? There's a minimum amount of electricity needed in order for me to finish the rocket. If I can get one of those sprinklers in the plantation, that might just be enough. Please do whatever it takes to get a sprinkler. Okay. Well, first things first, I'm gonna get some rest. Now. That's... She's nice. Much nicer than the, uh... Well, most of the people on this island. Even if she's a bit odd, that might just be because who she is. Red flowers being ground in preparation for an attack against the surface. If what the doctor says is true, well, we need to make these red flowers bloom at once.
Defeating the mean kill robots would be so simple with the red flowers in our possession. Boo quickly, little red flowers. Long live the great doctor. Gosh, you're all idiots. You don't even know what's about to happen to you. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright. Sorry about the small delay there. Had to fix something. Hmm. Now where do I go? Weren't you working? You, your new face around here. You must be puzzled of having been brought here so suddenly. Whatever. I don't even think about doing anything rash. If you run away or are caught, they'll toss you in jail. I'm safe and get to eat my meals, but that's only as long as I take care of their silly flowers. It broke again! Hey, you new guy, exchange this sprinkler with a new one that hopefully works. I... I, I flubbed it up. I flubbed it up. Actually, while I'm here, obtain the broken sprinkler. Well, I think that's what I need, but I'm actually going to go around the village a little bit more. Well, not the village, but the plantation a little bit more. Just for the sake of... Uh, actually... Since I fell again, why not? Whatever. I wonder if this broken one will work, or if I need to get a working one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need a new one. Which means I can probably swap it out down here. Or is it down here or is it up here? I'm gonna guess that's up. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle twinkle little star. Kinda missed my polar star. I mean this weapon is great. It's absolutely fantastic. But I miss my I, I miss my polar star. Just the fact that it was a poor star was nice. It broke again. Use this one more carefully. Obtain the sprinkler. Well, I got a working one that I will not be giving back to that guy. I'm exhausted. I don't believe that, Doctor. Robots, whatever. I'm not scared even a tiny bit. Indeed, service robots did attack this island. In fact, some of my friends were killed that time. Even so, a few of those robots seemingly understood us. I believe that those robots possess hearts and souls. I, I guess I have a heart and soul? I don't know. How would I know? I'm just a robot. And some might say that's racist, but then they realize that robots aren't actually a race. Robots are a creation by humans or any other creature, and uh, as such, do not care about being called robots. I mean, it's what they are. Oh, robots don't have hearts and souls. Cool. I'm still going to be better than you in every single way. Alright, before I give it to her, guys, next time on Let's Play Cave Story Plus. This one is kind of a weird one. We are just gathering things and throwing into prison and things. Exploring this plantation area. So, next time on Let's Play Cave Story Plus. We're going to give her the sprinkler... And hopefully get a rocket to use. That would be awesome. Though, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the other areas of the game. How some there, there were some items that I needed to go back and get. And she took my booster without permission. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.